Hey y'all, it's me again. I'm beginning to think that's my signature. Hello. Um, y'all, it's been a minute. But I wanted to let y'all know that my um address book is going along great. Thank you to everybody who emailed me your address so that I would have you in my address book. Um that will start next month because I want to give a few more people a chance to get their um, addresses to me and that way I can have a, a, a decent amount because right now I don't have that terribly many um, I may pick one anyway and this is how that's gonna work I'm not gonna announce who I pick just not gonna announce it it's up to them if they have a YouTube channel they're more than happy to post a video more than you know able to post a video and let everybody know that they were the ones chosen and that this is what they got. But it's supposed to be random acts of kindness and senseless acts of joy. It's not something to get noticed for. So although I'm going to do it, I'm not gonna not going to make a huge announcement on who I'm picking. Um, because I just don't think that's right. Um, I'm doing it not to be not because I want recognition for it, but just to let y'all know that I'm going to be doing it, but I'm just not going to let y'all know. I you know, may put a tidbit in and say I, I already do, drew or whatever, but just be sure that every single month there will be at least one random act. One. Um, so on to this month's drawing for the... Um, Happy mail, people. Um, I am going to start calling this instead of happy mail because a lot of people are kind of confused. But I don't, it's not a giveaway per se. It's just a um, kind of a gift. Um, just to let y'all know I'm happy that you watch. And so that's why I called it happy mail. So, if y'all, I need names. Yeah, I need names. Can y'all suggest some down below as to what I should call this? Because, like I said, some people are getting confused with the Happy Mail. Um, so, I could call it Gift Draw or something like that. You know, just something strange. And, yeah, I wrote everybody's name down. Everybody has a number by them. Got the numbers all boxed up, written down, and shaking like crazy because I'm going to make sure they're all shook up so I have no clue who's going to win this uh, or get this. So, that's pretty. Uh, anyway, y'all, I tell you, I am, I am short attention span. And I was just watching Madonna. Here we go again. Hang on. I was watching Madonna, and she was saying that... Um, she like tie-dye. The first thing that hit my head, and the older ones of us will recognize this reference, is Cheech and Chong. <laughs> they cracked me up. Even though I didn't know what in the world they were smoking, I knew it made them happy when I was growing up. <laughs> Had no clue. Yeah, I was a little naive. Yeah, I didn't find out what they were smoking until I was like out of high school. Kind of close to out of high school. I might have found out in my senior or junior year. See, I, my parents didn't tell us nothing. I just thought they were smoking regular cigarettes, but they were so happy. <laughs> anyway, okay, that's my story for today. Uh, well, whatever. All right, now, here we go. Number, number, number. And the number is 35. So let me go to my handy dandy list and find 35 is Sue Bigger. Sue, need to email me and let me know your favorite colors. Because that's how I'm going to pick. I'm, I'm going to send you yarn, but I have to pick it from another place. I don't have it here. And then order it and have it sent to your house. So I need your address, your favorite color, and 
I'm not sure if they'll allow it to be sent to the post office. I know UPS will, but FedEx won't, and neither will DHL. Found that out the hard way. Um, but yeah, Sue, let me know your favorite colors and your address. So let me put that one down. I'm only going to do one this month. But next month, I'm hoping to get back to shoe. I just got to catch up on my... Uh, you know, whenever you have a lot of family, you have a lot of presents. And I crocheted so many, and I spent so much on yarn. <laughs> uh, uh, my sister's got these blue blocking glasses that are supposed to help... Um, when you're looking at a computer screen or a uh, phone and stuff. So, you know, I may, I've got to go over there and see. Probably not today, probably tomorrow because i got to go to the grocery store. I hate going to, the, how many of y'all like going to the grocery store? Because to me, it's a chore. Because I have to figure out, because I buy for the month at the beginning of the month. I buy for the whole month. Um, because I get paid once a month. So I buy everything at the first of the month. And I get my dry goods and like my chips and stuff like that from my like Amazon and Walmart.com. Have them mailed to me. No big deal. It's the other stuff that I have to physically go into a store to get. And this is where I have problems. Because I usually just roll to Walmart and get it. And I'm tired of going to Walmart. Man, I hate going to Walmart right now. Because it's so... It's just no fun right now. Because it's so busy and people are here and there and everywhere. And I'm just tired. After this year, y'all, I am tired. But I did want to tell y'all, I'm doing the 2020 challenge. I'm using loops and threads gemstones yarn which is a roving type yarn um i was going to use the ice yarns rose but i had a whole difficulty finding a pattern to start with and then yay bag of day <laughs> new scarf pattern <laughs> oh yeah i'm doing that one so <laughs> thank you i told y'all she come up with a new stitch or something and and put it in a scarf. I was going, yay. Uh, that's what I was hoping for. I was like, yay, do it, girl. And um, so, yeah, I was real tickled with that. And then I got to make two hats for my um, nephew's wife and my other nephew's girlfriend. They both want hats, the chocolate bonbon hats from Bag of Day. So, making two of those. And then, um, Still working on that king size blanket. Y'all, when it's finished, I'm going to upload the video from my phone so it's not going to be like this. It's not going to have all my information in the description box. But it's going to be pretty. It's, it's so huge. I'm on row five of nine, and each row has 12 squares. Yeah, 10 inch squares. Y'all see where that's going? Yeah. So I'm going to get all that done. And um, I'm also working on um, a fiddle. I have no clue what all I'm working on. i got so much stuff going. i got to stop. i got to just have certain things going at one time. So I'm just sticking with the scarf, the blanket, and the hat. That's all I'm doing for right now. And then I'm going to get into that blanket that Linda sent me the yarn for. Because you guys are so cute. Um, everybody, I hope you had a wonderful New Year's Eve. And a great beginning of the new year. And just remember, everybody's great. Most of the people in the yarn community are amazing people. They're just so sweet. Um, you know, I have made some really good friends through this, and that's kind of odd to say, but yeah, I have. I mean, I've made a lot of friends through here, and I'm really thrilled 
at them because they're so sweet and they're wonderful people. And, you know, my sister says, well, what if somebody gets your address and they stalk you? I'm like, good luck with that. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, they're going to stalk me. But anyway, she's she's real sweet. She's real sweet, y'all. <laughs> she's such a nice girl. But yeah, I'm going to try to uh, be more um, circumspect about some of the information I let go. Um, if you're on my email list and stuff like that, I'd be glad to answer your questions, but I'm going to have to stop here. But I can still tell y'all stories. And um, that I like. I like being able to tell y'all stories. Oh, and I got one. Y'all, when I lived in Mississippi um, the first time, because see, I lived in Mississippi from birth to like 16, 17 years old. Then we moved to Louisiana my junior year. Yeah, that was no fun. And then after that, we moved. My parents and then moved to Texas. So I did a quick stop off in Texas from Louisiana and then back to Mississippi. And then I lived there until I moved here. Okay. Now, when we were younger, we could get our driver's license in Mississippi. Y'all going to laugh because this is so bad. But when we were 13, we learned how to drive. By 14, we could get our learner's permit. 15, we could get our driver's license. And in some states, it's still that way. But in Mississippi, we learned how to drive at 13. So uh, we had a friend of the family that was teaching us how to drive. And so, you know, I've always been like real slow grandma driving. I mean, except when I'm alone in the car. If I'm alone in the car, <coughs> I know how fast my car can turn, how hold it, how it holds the curves and stuff like that. I know what I can do. If I'm in the car with someone else, I go to the speed limit. Always have, always will. So we learned how to drive. And my younger sister and I were both learning at the same time. So he would get one of us in the car and we would go around the the block and everything, learn how to drive on regular roads because we didn't live in the country. We couldn't just learn, you know, out in the middle of nowhere, which my daughter did because um, my brother lived out in the country. Okay. <laughs> Another story. Um, to make a long story short, my sister gets in. I, I finish my drive around the, the, the block and everything, and my sister gets in the car. So she starts going down the road on the wrong side of the road yeah she thought she was in england apparently but she was <laughs> she was on the wrong side of the road and she didn't course correct until she was like nearly down the next street and then she got in the right lane and it was funny because i was like oh my god and then um our grandmother she and um my step-grandfather got us a VW Beetle that had no brakes. <laughs> and my grandmother lived in the middle of nowhere in, in, in Mississippi. I mean, it was like real country. Uh, she she lived about like we do now, about 35, 45 minutes away from the nearest store. So we learned how to drive these twisty country roads in a, in a VW with no brakes. Yeah, we couldn't go very fast. But we learned how to do stick, which is the whole point of us getting that, that car was to learn how to drive stick. Now, I can drive a stick, um, just not very well. Um, I can drive one, though. A lot of people can't. And that should be something everybody knows how to, how to do um, because it could come in handy one day. It really could. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm going to let y'all go, and for all of you new subscribers out there, hi, and for all of my normal people, 
I'm right here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to hang. You know, this is going to be my new year, my new stuff. I don't have a whole lot of blankets to make this year. I only have uh, seven to make this year. So I am so on. <laughs> I am so relieved it's only seven this year. So, yeah. Those of you who stuck with me all last year while I was making all those blankets, Lord bless you because you know it was a struggle for me to get through them all. But, yeah, I'm making seven blankets this year and then, you know, odds and ends for, you know, everybody else. So I'm going to be looking. Y'all see any cute, you know, little girl patterns or something new for the boys? You know, what's funny is I told them I might make the boys a scarf this year. And my sister said, too bad you didn't write down what color yarn you used on their hats. Yeah. I did do that, didn't I? No. So, here's the deal. <laughs> I'm going to have to make them hat and scarf sets. I may just make them all that. All the girls, all the boys, hats and scarves. Um, the girls I found on the chocolate bonbon hat, they need a whole other section. They like that whole other section. They don't like their hats to go to their ears. They want it to go down a little further so they can roll it back. Go figure. But that's them. So I'm going to let them have it. Um, yeah, that's about it, y'all. Is this my first video of the year? Maybe. If it is, yay. <laughs> I got one down. All right. Y'all have a good day and enjoy yourselves. And Madonna, thank you. Bye, y'all.